Hello friends, this video on communication systems part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about range. What is range? It is the largest distance between a source and a destination up to which the signal is received with sufficient strength. Now even though we do amplification but still we see that there is some loss in the signal strength. So, so still some attenuation happens. So there is always a distance between the source and the destination up to which you can receive the signal with sufficient strength because if the strength of the signal becomes very less in that case you will not receive the signal in a proper manner as I explained before also if you are talking to somebody over phone if sometimes you feel that the voice is breaking it gets cut at frequent intervals or your call gets disconnected that means you are unable to receive the signal with sufficient strength right so there is the largest distance between which you can receive the signal with sufficient strength that is known as range now this the value of this range changes for different types of signals so let us suppose you would have heard it in this context let us suppose if there is a tower so that tower will have its range up to a certain distance that means up to this much distance it can transmit signal with good strength so that the receiver can get it in good quality so you would have seen that there are telephone towers right which are present in different localities so why do we have different towers for different localities why is it not that there is just one telephone tower for the entire world that's because there is a limitation limitation to each tower each tower have the capacity to transmit signal with sufficient strength only up to a certain distance so that is why it is necessary to have towers for a different localities so that is why this tower can cover only up to this much area so what about the other areas for that you again have a different tower so this tower will again cover a certain portion of area maybe some portion of area it will cover right so you understand range right it is the area which up to which a signal can be transferred with sufficient strength the next is something very very important when we talk about communication systems that is modulation and demodulation so we will spend a lot of time and a good portion of this lesson discussing about modulation so here we will just introduce what it is do you think that the information or the message signal can travel over such a long distance on its own it needs a channel right that is true but if even if there is a channel let us suppose if we take our example the previous example again where my message signal is the letter so that letter has to travel from Delhi to Bangalore and you have a cha channel that is the rail so if you have a channel that is the rail and if you have the message signal that is the letter do you think that the letter can travel from Delhi to Bangalore or let us suppose if you have air so air is the channel right so can the letter travel from Delhi to Bangalore don't you think it needs something else as well yes of course it did the letter will not be able to travel if there is no train or if there is no flight only the rail or only the air will not serve the purpose so it actually needs something which can carry it over the channel so this something which actually carries the mass message signal is known as a carrier wave and this process where we put the message signal on a carrier wave is known as modulation so let us see what it is it is the superposition of information contained in a low frequency message signal on a high frequency wave that means whatever information has to travel now what do we mean by low frequency and high frequency here let us try to completely understand it with the example of with the letter example because that is how you will actually understand it nicely now let us suppose you have that letter and you have the rails or the air or the road as the channel so one option is that you take the letter yourself 
and you start walking down the rail or you start walking down the road till you reach reach bangalore but do you think that that is a wise decision or that is a wise thing to do no why because it it will consume a lot of time and it will also consume a lot of energy of yours so which is a better way so the better way is to have something which will actually carry that information which will actually carry that letter and something which can actually run really fast so that things can happen pretty fast so that is a high frequency wave so when you are superposing your information that is superposition of the letter with the train train is the high frequency wave and the letter is the low frequency message signal because letter do not have the capability to run as fast as the train so the train is the high frequency wave and this process of putting the train putting the letter on the train is known as modulation so where does it occur in a communication system it occurs at the transmitter end that is very obvious like in which portion of the example will you put the letter into the train towards the transmitter end right because towards the receiver end the receiver will take the letter back from the train right so it occurs at the transmitter end now when i talk about demodulation it is just the opposite process it is retrieval of information from the carrier wave that means now you also need to take the letter out of the train right so if the letter remains inside the train will the receiver ever receive it no so the receiver will have to take the letter out of the train so that retrieval is known as demodulation and it occurs at the receiver end clear so when i talk about a carrier wave so what is a carrier wave it is nothing but a high frequency wave so this high frequency wave is a carrier wave so it basically carries the message signal so let us look at this example again so what is your letter the letter is the message signal you put this letter into the post office in delhi now the letter needs to travel from delhi to the post office of bangalore now you already have rails but only rails will not serve the purpose so you need a high frequency wave which will actually carry the letter and what is that high frequency wave that is the train so the train acts as the carrier wave so the train will carry the letter so this carrying of letter that is modulation will happen at the transmitter end and once it reaches towards the receiver end the receiver will take down the letter from the train and that process is known as demodulation clear so the process of modulation and demodulation is clear okay now we will go ahead with our next topic where we will talk about the different types of modulation now when i talk about the types of modulation there are three types that is amplitude modulation frequency modulation and phase modulation now do not worry about each of them because in our next few i mean just some time later we will talk about each of these types of modulation in detail so we will discuss how exactly each type of modulation happens thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again